Jamin here. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. If you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe below. Make sure you guys check out the benefits of being a part of my Street Smart Swing online community. You get access to my personal coaching when you send your videos over. I can give you some feedback on how to make your dancing better. And you also get access to my entire catalog where I upload videos for you every single week. Now today I'm really excited to be taking a look at this invitational Jack and Jill format. It's going to be great. We got Peter and Latasha. Both of these dancers are fantastic. They have so much rhythm and they're so grounded. I've only seen them partner together a few times and I can't wait to give you guys my thoughts right after this. All right, audience, we have one more couple for y'all. One more couple. Can I get Latasha and Peter? Give it up for your final couple, everybody. <laughs> give it up, give it up. Yeah, that was good. All right, all right. Now I have to say that these two dancers were quintessentially made for each other in this performance. It gets no more perfect than this in terms of how well their styles complement each other. I first have to, to mention that Peter Strom is one of my top like 10 greatest Lindy Hoppers in the last 20 years. He has a profound way of clearly communicating where his partner needs to move without it being uncomfortable. And not every dancer who's over six feet tall has this amount of control and grounded rhythm in their dancing. And I still continue to learn a lot from him, even as a professional from clips like this, especially on how to prioritize moving my partner in rhythm. Now, the biggest surprise for me was Latasha's ability to balance the technique with an expressive display of charisma without coming across as uncontrolled or overproduced. She looks fully capable technically and genuinely honest emotionally. That is hard to do. In fact, most people are terrible at faking emotional joy when they're doing Lindy Hop and tend to be better at just doing the technique. It's weird, generally at these big events, everybody knows everybody and tends to cheer for people they, they like, regardless of their favorite people's actual performance quality that night. And this definitely is not the case here. I feel genuine emotion from her and see an obvious respect for the technique being demonstrated. Latasha's performance is very impressive here. See, when you're popular, most of the time, it's okay to get away with half-baked dancing because everybody knows who you are and you get to sit with the cool kids and everybody's too intimidated to critique you because they are trying to fit in too. But here's the thing, guys. I honestly don't feel 
like Latasha is sitting comfortably in that camp here. This performance shows me that she's not just trying to fit in with that group. I see her trying to stand out in a way that demands respect. Her performance is just flat out sublime, and I can't wait to see how she will be able to influence more dancers to commit to just working hard and becoming outstanding in this art. Ultimately, I feel what made this dynamic duo so powerful is how well they matched artistically and tonally. I hope in the future that they get lucky and get paired up again and we're all blessed by whatever new amazing performance they create. What did you guys think about this performance? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.